Real, real, real. Stop. Oh, stop. What's happening, Fusion friends? Welcome to another episode. Today we are taking a look at the old tank that I got going. As you can see, it started with just some black sand in it, pretty plain. I did a few tank tests with some lures, and it worked for that, but it just needed some life in it. So, uh, my daughters, as you can see, each picked out a, a little decoration for it. Are you ready, kids? But we couldn't let it stay boring like this. We needed to add some life to it and go out and catch a micro pet. That's what we're going to do today. And fast forward to now, this is what the new tank looks like. I got some actual plant life added in there. I've got some fun little uh, driftwood pieces I added in there. The rocks, the uh, aerator back there buried. Got some driftwood over here. And the newest addition, we added some minnows to it. So these guys, hopefully some of the bigger ones will stay alive. Some of the smaller ones, um, after we catch the green sunfish, hopefully he will eat those. We'll maybe try to find a crawfish, a natural craw to put in here. He might hide out under the rocks or under here. You can see that even under there, there's a couple minnows that like to hide under the bridge. So it should be kind of cool to see where they hang out mostly. As of right now, most of the pack school hides out back here in this little dark corner by all this black rock. Some of that's still the sand. I tried to get most of that out and now the tank looks awesome. Nice and clear, nice and clean. Um, I've got the one filter up here just the regular outside the tank filter last night i got the whole canister filter put in here i know the lights aren't on it's kind of dark but that's the canister filter it goes under super quiet a bunch of uh, filtration in here because i know once i get the green sunfish and the craw they're pretty dirty it's going to dirty up the water same for the minnows you know not as bad as like a goldfish i don't think some, these minnows are but I just want to make sure I've got ample filtration. I don't want to have to combat a bunch of gross algae and gross poo and stuff in here. But as of right now, it looks pretty cool. And I'm waiting for the top. It actually got canceled, so I'm going to have to try to find another top. I think this is a 45-gallon. Uh, but this should go parallel to the tank like this, not this way. It is waterproof. I checked on that. But uh, it's pretty cool because at night, um, I have it set on an automatic timer where at 7.30 it'll go all blue like this, which looks pretty sweet. It's a night light, kind of gives them the day and uh, night cycles. This has the different color lights you can do for the different UV spectrums for the plants in here, but I just leave it on the, uh, the natural UV daylight, this one, that puts all the lights together and everything and helps the plants grow nice and purdy, so hopefully we don't have any issues. Also, shout out to my fish and friends that pointed out the, uh, the java ferns and the anubias. Uh, plants they eat through their rhizome. So those little root looking things are not actually roots if you bury them under the rock uh, They'll actually die. So they need to be up above it So I took some just regular braided fishing line tied the plants to the driftwood back there tied the plants to this lava rock uh, And hopefully they take off. I've got some little hair dwarf grass stuff here And then this stuff I forget what it's called this stuff actually does need to be buried So I did at least get one of them right, but that's the tank set up. Pretty darn cool. Uh, I can't wait. Hopefully we can go find Mr. Green Sunfish today and catch a little micro pet and then do some more updates as he grows and eats. So let's let's go back out to Fishin. All right, so Fishin friends update. We are out here trying to catch the fish. We're here for about two seconds. And I caught and, my own fish. And my youngest daughter already caught a fish. So hopefully we and can... It's my birthday. And it's, yep, it's her birthday. Mm -hmm. She caught her... That's right. Okay, so let's flip it out there again. We gotta watch our hook. We're gonna toss it out there and watch. Okay, now watch your bobber. Okay, just leave it. Don't don't move it. What? No, go. Got him. Look at that. Oh, good one. Oh, that's a bluegill. Darn it. It's a good one though. That is a per. That's the size we want, but we want a green sunfish. Look at the pretty colors on him. Gonna cool. touch him. Wow. Neat, huh? Good job, man. Good, you are a star. Did you see that? My golly, you are better at daddy at catching fish. All these fish and friends. Hey, you do your intro for me. How's the intro go? <laughs> I won't put it on video. I'll turn it off. Okay, now how's the intro go? What's happening, fish and friends? And then what do we say? Today is Debo's fishing day. Hey, here we go. Okay, now hold on. Let's flip it out there again. You ready? Let's see if we find some more of these ferocious fish. I'm going to flip it out and watch your bobber. Okay, now watch it. Watch your bobber. If it goes down, pull into him and start reeling. Okay, you gotta watch. Oh, oh. Did you get him? Oh, he took our worm. Let's flip it out there a little bit farther. Maybe out here a little bit deeper. You ready? No, it's got it. Almost. She's catching bigger fish than daddy does. Kinsley tanks and daddy catches little Debo dinks. 
All right, where'd all these fishies go? See if there's one here by the tree. Okay, keep watching. If they starts, if your bobber starts going down, reel it in. I got two fish already. Reel it in. Don't want it to get lost over there. Oh, here, let me have it. Why is it falling? Ah, uh, yeah, you kind of got it in the trees. You can see the worm. I don't see any here. We might have to move here in a little bit. Okay, ready? We're gonna put it right over here by this. Okay, now just watch. Watch the red. Okay, now we want to wait, 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 wait. See how he's popping it? Wait. See how they're just playing with it? You want to wait till he really takes it under. See him? See the bobber going bloop, bloop, bloop. Real, real, real. Stop. Oh, stop. Yo, good job, Brenna. See, I told you to get one. They like that salmon egg. You want to throw him back in? Like this. Got it. Got him? Throw him in. There you go. Good job. And when he eats it, just start reeling. Just lift up a little bit and start. Wait, wait, wait. Wait till it takes it all the way under. Reel. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, what do you mean we're not going to catch the fish? Of course we will. Oh, we'll catch it. Reel him, reel him, reel him. Whoa, oh my golly. You caught a grand fish. All right, excellent work. My oldest daughter caught the first green sunfish. If they're both this small, we'll get a couple. So, good work. You are both doing awesome. I am very proud of you girls. Doing great today. Yeah, but I'm the one who caught it. That's okay. We're both having fun. It, it doesn't matter who's catching what. We're just having fun out here. All right. So far, the green sunfish have really liked these balls of fire, these salmon egg deals. Bluegill. Look at that with the honey worm. Two in a row. Look what it is. Green sunfish. I caught another one. Come on, buddy. Wait, we're recording. Yep. Perfect. Here we go. Oh. <gasps> Right where he went to. Oh. Yeah, the minnows. <laughs> no, to the wood. The oh. cover. They're both gonna go right for cover. Boy, my camera's gonna be nice and steady and <laughs> that's amazing. Alright, it's day two with the uh, the sunfish being in the tank. I think they've maybe uh they might have eaten a couple minnows last night. I feel like there's less in here than before. Uh, the first green sunfish has been hiding back here by the little driftwood pile, which is pretty cool can walk over and see him. Not really getting used to me yet, but they are pretty little dudes. The second dude, you can't really see him, but he's been hiding back here. Actually, I just scared the other one over here. The other large one has been hiding over in this corner. So they've come out a little bit. Hopefully we can get them on a feeding schedule here soon. Uh, you know, maybe eating some worms and stuff out of my hands. I know that's gonna take a little while to train them. The, uh, the minnows are still zipping all around all crazy like. Hopefully they'll start eating some of those. I was hoping uh, they were only gonna give me like six seven but they gave me a little little school up in there they're cool to watch but uh, i don't i don't need that many manners in here the external box filter you can see it better there uh, is working absolutely amazing this side over here is all the uh, the stuff hook up to that so it's a pretty small footprint in the tank just two tubes uh this is the uh, the external back filter i don't know what they call these uh, i'm thinking i might be able to take this one off as you can see that's just the piece that sticks in down there but I think I might be able to take that one off and just run that box filter because it does such a good job. So I don't know. We'll uh, we'll keep going here. Hopefully they, they start getting on a feeding schedule. All right, fish and friends, tank update time. Uh, as you can see, the tank is coming along. However, we only have one inhabitant left. He's hiding back there. That's kind of his little perch spot, hiding deal, cave made of wood back there. Uh, I noticed the uh, some of the minnows had died, but some of the other ones had gone missing uh, during the nighttime. And it appears this bully has uh, has been eating some of them. He also bullied the other green sunfish. Unfortunately, it only lasted uh, about a day, two days maybe, something like that. This dude was uh, definitely bigger than the other one. He was more territorial, and I think uh, it took a toll on the other little dude. So unfortunately. We only have one fish in the tank, but I think we're gonna keep it this way. I'm working on getting it clearer. Um, I've got a subscribe fish and friend, Frank. Frank Desette has been absolutely awesome in helping me manage this. Uh, my tank, or the, uh, my tank, my plant is growing well. You can see it's got all the little uh, spindles coming off of it there. The, uh, the Anubias plants that connect to the driftwood over here are growing. So overall, I'm happy with the tank. It's looking cool and Mr. Stubby Dog hears me down here talking. He had to come over here and nose too. Mr. Stubby Dog, what do you think of this whole tank thing? Do you like the worms? Uh, you like those worms? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. These are the little red worms we're gonna feed him. I'm gonna go clean one off, see if he'll eat. Hopefully, the past couple days, he's finally been eating worms for me. Uh, every other time I come down and try to feed pellets or worms or anything like that, 
He just run and hides. All right, just get all the dirt cleaned off of him. There we go. That's the first little red worm. Let's see how hungry he is. Last time he went after the glass on the other side, he saw the reflection. So hopefully he sees it this time. Now in time, hopefully we'll be able to uh, to get him to eat out of my hand. But here we go. We're going to drop it. Oh, he sees in the reflection over there. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, oh. There he is. He got it. Yes. Get all upset when that fish runs out of there and eats stuff, don't you? It's just a fish, Stubby. You know, don't have to be all upset about it. All right, I've got another one here. Look at him. Now, hopefully in time we'll be able to get him to eat out of our hands. But for now, we're just going to drop it in and watch. Oh, man, he was ready for that one. He is an aggressive little guy. And that's kind of why I was wanting to get the uh, little green sunfish like him. They're aggressive. And supposedly, once we can get that dude down in there a little bit more comfortable with us, uh, they'll kind of recognize feed him time, come out to the glass, you know, react to our fingers, all that type of stuff. So, so for the past couple days, he's demolished the worms. Let's, uh, let's see if he'll give a waxy uh, a chance at all. He hasn't come up to the top. Oh, he ate that too. Awesome. Ate a waxy. There we go. Let's sign. Oh, oh, oh. Got it. Yes. All right, fishing friends. So here's the thing. I'm going to need your help. I need you to comment below and let me know. Are there different things we should be feeding him? Um, I think we're probably going to get some little minnows again. See if we can actually watch him eat a couple if I put just a couple in. Probably crickets. Comment below and let me know what you want to see this little dude eat. I want to give him a good variety of food. That way he grows good and colorful, has a good well-balanced diet, and it's fun just to feed him different things. Now, two, I told you the story of the pain that I went through uh, with the two fish. And I, I don't, I just, it's hard for me to call this fish fudge stripe. So I want you all to comment below and let me know what should we call it. We've got the name around the house. The girls call him fudge stripe. But I want to know what name would you all name him? Whoever gets the most likes on it, I will pick a winner. That'll be his name. And you're going to get a couple fudge stripe for now, inspired crankbaits that I paint up to try to look just like this little dude. So comment below, help me out. And anything else, let me know what else you want to see out of the tank series with this guy. I'm still debating on whether or not I want to add a, a little crawfish to the tank or not. I don't know. Dude might eat it. They're pretty aggressive. Hopefully we can get him comfortable enough to come up and start eating out of my hand. So comment below. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know if you like this deal. Uh, it'll probably be every few weeks we'll do a video on this, something like that, because not a lot's going to change every week. So comment below. Let me know. Otherwise, that's it for me. I need to go edit. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time.